The Bredner Fire Station here on Crocker Street was built in 1955. Since then, there have been no major upgrades, and firefighters tell me it's outdated and unsafe. The trucks have grown and the building shrunk. Chief Tom Wildman has worked for the Bradner Fire Department for 44 years. The station serves as a landmark in town. In the past, it was used as a gathering space and voting center, but the chief says the building is not ADA compliant. There's only one restroom on site, nowhere for firefighters to shower, and lacks proper ventilation for exhaust fumes. Carbon monoxide detector will go off where we fill our air bottles at in the back. And the building was designed where you can't put it. It's really hard to put an exhaust system into it. Space is also an issue. The department has five vehicles in the garage. It was built to house two. If only one truck goes out at a time. Um, the ambulance has to go out first, and then the engine can go out, and then the tanker and the rest of them start going out. Um, we, we've lost a lot of mirrors and different things here. Here's a visual for you. The tanker truck and the engine are just three inches apart. It's a game of Jenga every time a call comes in. With no room to renovate, the department is renewing a push to build a new station. It's a goal they've tried to meet for decades. We have bus trips, we have uh, dinners, we have uh, you name it, we've tried. It just breaks my heart that we haven't had one by now. Bradner Fire already owns land just a block away, and the architectural plans are ready. But the project will cost $1.6 million, money the village doesn't have. Chief Wildman is working with lawmakers to secure a federal grant. Public safety uh, for me is the number one priority. Uh, people want to feel safe in their communities. Uh, when you are looking at um, building for economic development and, and job creation, people want to feel safe. If approved, the money will pay to build a new space for the volunteer department with enough parking for each vehicle and room for firefighters and community members to safely spread out. We're not asking for a Taj Mahal. We just want what would fit us best. In Bradner, Christina Williams, 13 ABC Action News.